Hey, what's up with brother? Well, look, I just really needed to holler at you, folks, because uh, I feel like you're, you outside, you feel like you're on your grown man, you handling your business, you're doing your duggy, you're trying to stack a little paper up, uh, you move how you move, but I guarantee you keep your snakes clean. You try and stay dipped so you can keep your little honey butter with you. But watch this. If you try and take her home and you still live with your mama. Um, first of all, it's disrespectful. I'm going to say that to you. Second of all, that's lame. Like, and then it speaks volumes to the caliber of chick you got because... You finna take her back to your house where you still got a room with mama. And you think you finna be slamming and jamming in the house with mama and have mama uncomfortable. And it ain't cause mama ain't got nobody to come and do no slamming and jamming, but mama pay the bills in there. And it should be it should be only one person, you understand me, or one couple in there getting wet and dipping on everything and plus man you really don't want your mama to be in your mix like that boy if you can't scrape 40 to get a room 50 60 100 whatever level you at stay in your lane right but at least be responsible enough to get you some cooch the caliber of chick that's gonna come to your mama house like that and she willing to get blasted while your mama there yeah, speaks volumes. That means she'd have gave it to you at a gas station. Just go buy a Chevron and let them get that big ass uh, a whole tire or something with the key on it. And then, you know. But show mama some respect, though, because I think that's where and that's a slippery slope. Because once you start doing that, then the lack of respect that you're going to have for your mama, because the one that's giving you goodies. She going to test it. Trust that belief. She going to get loud. She going to get disrespectful. She going to feel like this is just as much as her space as it is mama's space. Mama ain't getting no pipe. She getting some pipe. Like that shit can get real weird. Nigga, don't do that. Don't do that. From G to G, don't do that. Don't you ever get no chick that kind of clout over your mama. Where now your mama can't check up without you saying something or you trying to no, mama, be cool. There ain't nothing to talk about. There ain't nothing to interview. Ain't no getting in between you and your mama and your chick. And let your chick get mouthy with your mama. You understand? Let, your, let a chick get mouthy with your mama. You show her the door. You show her the door. You show her the door. Don't be no sucker, nigga. You show her the door. You don't respect me. Listen, even if you don't respect your mama, you don't let nobody else disrespect your mama. See, me, I can call my cousins, brothers, and everything, all kind of names if I want to, but I'll be damned if I stand around and somebody else do it. Same blood, same sheet of skin. Boy, you better learn to respect your mama. You feel me? Because you're still at home. So if you don't like it, get out. Boy, if you can talk up on some coochie, you can talk for somewhere to sleep. Don't do your mama like that, man. That ain't player shit, not grown man business. And bruh, ain't nobody trying to kick it with you if that's how you moving. Grow up.